Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. In this episode, we're gonna go further with the RF900. The, the, did run a few kilometers with the bike already. Uh, found some issues. One of them is the the steering bearing. Unfortunately, it's not good, so I have to replace it. And uh, if I'm busy with the bike already, I'm gonna check as well the synchronization. So I'm gonna take off the tank again, of course, and uh, put it on for a different. Uh, uh, angle. I'm gonna put on the device and gonna check the synchronization of the carburetors. And of course, if it's needed, I'm gonna adjust. So the device is hooked up. The engine is warm. So let's see. As you can see, it has some difference. So yeah, she really needs a nice adjustment. So let's start with it and let's see how it's gonna end up. So yes, we got a really good result. All the cylinders are going up and down at almost at the same time. So it's a really good result, I'm happy with it. So let's go further with the jump. Tank is back in normal. Let's see a start up. So smooth, so smooth. It's a really good result, I'm happy with it. So let's go further. I just found out now, unfortunately the chain is also in a little bit shape. As you can see, it's not straight anymore. When you have anything like this, that means you have to replace the chain because these are already stretched partially, so it's really dangerous. And even if you look at the sprocket, the, the teeth are quite pointy already. So that means the bike needs a new set of chain and sprockets as well. So this we have to order. So this is going to be part of this uh, final touch as well. Let's go further. The next job is the steering wheeling. I have to take off the calipers, open up the front end, have to take out the wheel, going to open up the clamps to be able to pull out the forks, and then I can take off the top, loose up the nut, and um, the T stick, the T piece, I'm just gonna uh, slide down at the front. And then uh, the front one is gonna be easy, but the bottom one is always uh, really hard take it off I don't have a puller so I'm just gonna cut off by a grinder let's start to work the forks are out already uh, everything is loosed up now I just have to take out this uh, bolt and then I can take off the, the cover plate and then I have access for the nut and then pull out the T part for the underneath to the bike and then just put back the new bearing and put it back together these are the old bearings, as you can see it's still the factory grease I assume, and yeah, not the best shape, yeah, time to change them, <coughs> and uh, with, the, with the puller I'm gonna take out the two races from the top one and from the bottom one as well, and then I'm just gonna put in the bright brand new shiny one, so let's work. Things are going well, these are the old bearings. And then you are in already. I'm really happy. It's going good. So time to put back the fork and then the wheel and put back everything together. The front is completely done. Let's go further with the job and let's start fix the back side. It was a fight guys to take out this nut. As you can see, it has a, a thread locker on it. So I guess it's still from the factory. So that is definitely a new sprocket as well. I had to put in a piece of food, otherwise I, I, I just was rotating even the engine to break everything. It was a fight, but luckily it's done. Can put on the new sprockets front and back and can go for a ride. Let's work. This is the front sprocket, the old one, and this is a new, I guess. The difference is visible. It's, uh, it, this has to be changed already. And as you can see, it's uh, already everything lean on the side already. So I guess it was really big luck for me. It didn't break off already because actually this is how it's rotating and these are looking back. So it's uh, really, really bad. Luck to get a new one. So it's gonna be way better now. These are the real sprockets. It's also the same. It's almost like half of the original size. So yeah. And these are also leaning on the side already. 
some people want to try to save some money, but uh, they are just playing with their own health and risk uh, because when they are this weak already, the totes, the the changes can break it off if you do a little bit bigger uh, downshift or something. And if the chain is just running through on it, then it can uh, lock your wheel. And if you're lucky, you're just gonna crash your bike. But if it's not, then you can be injured or even cause an accident. Don't uh, say like 20 euro because of one's profit, guys. So let's put it on. Let's get back to bike. Put together. Yes, fine and finished. New chain is on. New sprockets are on. Everything looks good. I'm happy with it. Time to put back the fairing and let's go for a ride. She is back in one piece finally. Uh, to be honest, I had the test drive already. She feels much more safe in the corners. It's not like she want to go where she wants anymore. Much more sta uh, stable in the corner. It's really happy. It's much more safety for me to feel as well, to be honest. And yeah, the new chin is much more quiet. Not that uh, high vibration noise. So I'm really happy with the result. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.